What's going on YouTube, Bird here, and in today's video, we are going over my in-game bloodied heavy gunner build. But before we get into the video, make sure you smash that like button, the way the Fallout 76 community can see this, and subscribe for more Fallout 76 content. Let's get into it. Starting off everything, the Brother Distill has sent me to a few locations around the map, that way I can demonstrate how powerful this build is, and at the end of the video, I'll be showing you the exact build I'm using, my weapon, and its mods. The first target on my list though is this very vicious Myler Queen. She's harassing anyone and everything, even Snallygasters, that come and try to swim at the Spruce Knob Lake. And well that's just not fair. Even the Snallygasters themselves needed some swimming. So, with that being said, I'm gonna have to paralyze her. Get down you Myler Queen. And then I'll move in for the kill, you know? She can't do nothing now. She's like, help me, help me. But no, there's gonna be no helping. Let me make sure I get a good headshot. Now we'll go with we'll go with the feet shot. And if she turns on me, then then we'll get the face shots. Goodbye, my little queen. Oh no, she's going down, down. Look at her. She stands no chance. Uh oh, her little buddies are kind of getting at me, but that's okay. I just want to get these face shots. <sighs> oh okay, gotta reload, gotta reload. You deserve this, my little queen. It's for not letting the snallygaster swim. And guys, y'all need to get off of me. One thing fantastic about this gun, though, is you can also use it in VATS, even if you don't have any VATS perks. So, I definitely love it, but now, on to my next target. The next group of enemies that the brothers still want me to take down are a bunch of vicious Snallygasters. That's right, I said it. We're taking on the Snallygasters today. Now, there's one of them. That one's name's Patricia. Patricia is very vicious, and she will rip your face off without even using her hands. That means she's gonna, you know, use her mouth and just... There goes your face. But, but, there's not just Patricia. We have Timothy. Where's Timothy at? I know there's, there's Timothy. There's Timothy. I think it's just Patricia and Timothy. There might be one more, but. Oh, oh, oh. Goodbye, Timothy. You're standing no chance. Just get your face shots. Uh oh, 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 oh. Oh my gosh, you see what I mean? That was a close one. Now, let's move on to my next target. The next group of enemies on my list that the brother that still want me to take down are a bunch of vicious super mutants located at West Tech. And these guys actually challenged the brotherhood. They said send your best fighter and if y'all win, y'all get to have the entire West Tech research facility. But if they win, they get for it Atlas. So they sent me, we all are powered armored up, get my pepper shaker and here we go. Goodbye super mutant warlord. What about you sir? Goodbye, Warlord. How many Warlords y'all get? Oh, they sent their best guys, huh? Is that what's going on here? Uh-oh, we got Suicider. He almost, he almost blew up. Again, we can, uh-oh. We got attacked by a dog, where's he at? There's two of them, there's two of them. Stand down. You shouldn't have got yourself into this, Hound. Y'all stand in no chance. You can also use it in bats, as you can see. Fantastic, fantastic. Stand down, Warlord. They didn't tell me it was going to be a bunch of warlords. They just said they were going to send some super mutants. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh. There's another. There's another. Is there any more? Is that all? Oh, there they are. Uh-oh. Got to reload. There's also a machine gun up here. And I do not do well with machines, so you're going to have to die, machine. All right, you warlords. This is ours now. I'm sorry to say it, but uh, you are going to find a new home. Maybe locate the Huntersville. Though I'm gonna come and claim that area too. But West Tech is now BOS territory. Now onto our next target. The next target on my list that the brother is still wanting to take down is a very vicious super mutant behemoth that sadly goes by the name Matthew McConaughey. That's right. This is poor old Matthew. The super mutants got him, dipped him, and turned him into a behemoth. I couldn't believe it when I heard, but. We have to put a stop to him because Matthew McConaughey is no longer a famous nice actor. He's a vicious behemoth that likes to kill settlers for their food and house. So, goodbye behemoth Matthew McConaughey. You stand no chance. <sighs> I feel better. The world should feel better. Now, let's get into this build, the weapon itself, and its mods. Starting off over in the build, these are all my base stats. These are all the base stats before the legendary perk cards are equipped, so if you want to build the exact build I'm using, this is the start. Now let's get into the legendary perk cards. Over the legendary perk cards, these are all the legendary perk cards that make up the build. 
As you can see, they're not all max, so there's definitely some room to grow here, and one day I will not have to say that. But starting off, we have Endurance maxed out, Luck at 2 stars, Strength at 1 star, Intelligence at 2 stars, Far Flung Fireworks at 1 star, and Power Sprinter at 1 star. Now these last two cards aren't necessary, I just really enjoy them. Far Flung Fireworks says enemies killed with a ranged weapon have a 10% chance to explode, and Power Sprinter has. While in power armor, sprinting consumes 20% fewer action points, which is pretty nice when you use your action points for defense. But these are all the legendary perk cards that make of the build. Now let's get into the normal perk cards. Over the normal perk cards, these are all the normal perk cards that make of the build. This is a hybrid build, so it's a mix between shotgunner cards and heavy gunner cards, so keep that in mind. But starting off in strength, we have 15, and this is so we can have the heavy gunner cards and the shotgunner cards. They're not all maxed out, but they are put up to where I can get the most amount of damage out of them. Over in Perception, we have 4, and this is so we can have Skeet Shooter maxed out. Your shotguns have excellent accuracy and spread. We have Concentrated Fire at 1 star, and this is so we can target the limbs or the head. Over in Endurance, we have 6, and this is so we can have Ghoulish maxed out. Radiation and now regenerates even more of your lost health. We have Fireproof maxed out. Take 45% less damage from explosions and flame attacks. Over in Charisma, we have 9, and this is so we can have a low wonder maxed out. When adventuring alone, take 20% less damage and gain a 30% AP regain. We have Field Surgeon maxed out. Stimpax and Right Away will now work much more quickly. We have Tenderizer maxed out. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 6, and this is so we can have Nerd Rage maxed out. While below 20% health, gain 40 damage resist. 20% of damage and 15% AP regain. We have Stabilize maxed out. And Power Armor, Heavy Guns gain excellent accuracy and ignore 45% armor. Over in Agility we have 14 and this is so we can have Action Boy maxed out. Action Points regenerate 45% faster. We have Enforcer maxed out. Your Shotguns gain a 15% Stagger chance and a 30% chance to cripple a limb. Then we have Adrenaline maxed out, gain a 10%, max 60% damage for 30 seconds per kill, duration refreshes with kills. Then we have Dodgy maxed out, avoid 30% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit. Over in Luck we have 12 and this is so we can have a Bloody Mess maxed out. 15% of bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red pace. We have Better Criticals at 1 star, Vats Criticals now do a plus 20% of damage. We have one gun army maxed out. Heavy guns gain a 12% stagger chance and a 12% chance to cripple a limb. We have ricochet maxed out. Gain a 18% chance to deflect back some of your enemies range damage. No PVP. And we have starch genes maxed out. You'll never mutate from rats and right away will never cure your mutations. But this is it. This is my entire in-game heavy gunner build, low health, and specifically for the pepper shaker. It's fantastic, and the Pepper Shaker is an amazing weapon. I love the whole idea of a hybrid gun, so yeah. But this is the build, now let's get into the weapon and its mods. Over in the weapon, this is it. This is my 3 star legendary Pepper Shaker, and the main legendary effect is the anti-armor effect, which is ignores 50% of your target's armor, has the 25% faster fire rate, and also has your VAT's critical meter fills 15% faster. This gun is fantastic, whether you're using a power armor or not power armor, or if you want to use it in vats or not in vats, you can use whatever or however you like it. The mods I decided to go with though is the Hex Barrel, Plasma Magazine, and Gunner Sight. If you want to use other mods, there are definitely some other ones, you know. Use the Dual Barrel if you're using it in vats and you want to use non-power armor, this is the way to go. But if you're in power armor and you don't want to use vats, Hex Barrel all the way. Now, I will say this, I tried out the single barrel just a couple times, you know, a few times. And every time I'd kill an enemy, their health would just rubber band back up and uh, yeah, so something wrong there, I definitely do not recommend that. But also in the magazine, you can use a shotgunner magazine, these are standard bullets. We have our laser magazine, which is adds energy damage and changes the ammo type to fusion cells. Or the one I went with, a plasma magazine. There's no difference besides the color that you shoot. Plasma Magazine adds energy damage and changes the ammo type to plasma cartridges. But this is a fantastic gun. 
This is it with all its mods and all its glory, and my entire build that I used. And guys, if you enjoyed the Fallout 76 content and you want to see more, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more Fallout 76 content, and guys, I shall see you in the next one. Peace.